segment tonight, as you may know, Lance Armstrong has been accused of taking performance-enhancing drugs. The cyclist was victorious in seven consecutive Tour de France races. Recently, the L.A. Times printed transcripts of sworn testimony by a doctor, Michael Ashenden, an Australian, accusing Armstrong of using banned drugs during the 1999 Tour de France. Armstrong continues to deny any wrongdoing. With us now is Dan Coyle, author of the book Lance Armstrong's War. Okay, L.A. Times out of nowhere, it seems, you know, pops this thing in on this Australian doctor who says that Armstrong was uh, steroid in it, right? Steroids we're talking about, right? We're talking about EPO. EPO is a blood doping product that increases your red blood cell count. It basically raises your octane in your blood. You can move more oxygen. All right. Speed, would that be an akin to speed? No, not quite. This is more in the fuel tank. All right, so better endurance then. Yeah, you don't get exactly. tired as quickly. Exactly. And this is a banned substance everywhere? Yes, it is in cycling. It's in other sports as well. Now, the LA Times has this doctor, and the doctor swears an affidavit that he says Armstrong took this EPO. And you say what? This came about as a result of an insurance policy Armstrong took out in 2001. And the insurance policy was this. Uh, if I win the six, six tours in a row, you give me five million bucks. He did win six tours in a row. He came to get his money, and the insurance company said, no, we've heard this, these rumors. We've heard these stories they didn't want that you're pay. cheating. They didn't want to pay. Armstrong sued him. This was an insurance arbitration case, a private case, in front of a panel of three judges. Mm -hmm. uh, depositions were given. Evidence was gathered. And that's what's coming out of this. this okay, information so this doctor was testifying for the insurance company. Yes. So he was paid to do that. Right. Now, what was the uh, disposition of that case? It was decided in favor of Armstrong. They settled, actually. They settled. Armstrong was given his $5 million, and there was a $2.5 million penalty put on top of that. Is that right? So Armstrong won the case mm -hmm. and got the money mm -hmm. from the it's, insurance company is probably the wrong word, isn't it? This sounds like a Vegas thing. If uh, I win six, I get... There's a fine line between those two guys. All right, because can you buy that insurance in the USA? You can, actually. Yeah? Yeah. So if I have... Uh, Three years of the factor being the number one rated show, I can bet on that and get money from an insurance company? Yes, you can. I did not know that. Yes. That's interesting. All right, let's get back to Armstrong. So it seems to me that Armstrong is telling the truth. He won his case against people who said he was using dope, so obviously right. they didn't prove it. Right. Now, why would the LA Times drag this up and besmirch Lance Armstrong? This is part of a cloud of things that have followed Armstrong for about, well, seven years. Uh, if you wanted to accuse Armstrong of anything, you better get in line because there's a lot of yeah, different the French, people accusing The French him. press did it because they don't like Americans and he was humiliating the French cyclists. We know that. But the LA Times, American newspaper. Now, we asked the Times writer to come on here. He said he was too busy. But I can't understand if what you're saying is true, and I have no reason to doubt you, mm. why the LA Times would print something that has been discredited in a court of law by three judges say, we don't believe this guy, this doctor. We don't believe him. Right. Why would they do that? Right. Well, it's an intriguing, it's an intriguing question. The, the thing about Armstrong is here we have Superman. Here we have a guy who's actually better than Superman in some ways. Uh, and this is his kryptonite. Doping is his kryptonite. Four years, you've had Armstrong. Armstrong's accusers have been his masseuse, two teammates, a team doctor, an Irish journalist who wrote a 350-page book. As I say, it's like a deli counter. You have to take a number. Okay, all of so these things all these people claim that he's time. taken this drug. That's right. You did this book. Right. You researched. Right. Now, you're not pals with him. You did this independently, right? That's right. That's right. And you came to the conclusion, what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And that's, that's a difficult conclusion to come to. I'm a dad with a kid who likes cycling. Lance Armstrong is his hero. And I think... On the one hand, he's tested clean 150 times, more than anybody who's ever been tested. 150 clean tests, that says a lot. On the other hand, there are these, this cloud that's been around, and it comes from people like Ashenden. It comes from unfrozen but, but shouldn't urine. shouldn't we as fair people go by the three judges ruling that threw this out and said there isn't any reason, there isn't any proof that this guy did it? Shouldn't we accept that? What the three judges said was that insurance company, you signed a contract to pay him if he won. And he won. The oh. contract didn't say that it didn't have anything about So they didn't about rule doping. on the doping. They did not rule on so the doping. The bottom line in your book is you don't know. I don't know. All right. Thanks for being an honest guy, Mr.